southwest of New South Wales, the meandering Murrumbidgee River, an Aboriginal name for never failing water, brings life giving water to an area once described as a barren wilderness and now known as the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Area, or in colloquial terms, the MIA. The scheme, first considered in the late 1800s and influenced by Irish landholder Sir Samuel Mackaki, was commenced by the New South Wales Government in 1906 and officially opened on the 13th of July 1912. Huge storage dams, Burrunjuk on the Murrumbidgee and Blowering Dam on the Tumut River, collect and store the water from melting snow and winter rains in the snowy mountains. The water flows 420 kilometres to the Berenbed Weir and the newer Godjildri Weir, where it is then diverted into the MIA and to the more recently established Colliambly Irrigation Area. Today, that never failing water reaches over 600,000 hectares and supports a population of over 50,000 people centred on the now prosperous towns of Leeton and Griffith. Annual farm gate income is over $500 million. Local processing generates a further $800 million and the MIA is now recognised as one of the most successful irrigation projects in the world. Let's take a closer look at what makes this area such a famous and interesting place. Leeton is increasingly being recognised as the centre of excellence in irrigation management and food processing technology through the broad range of agricultural products and the diverse array of value-adding agri-food industries in the area. Not surprisingly, Leeton is the heart of Sunrise Country and still enjoys frontline identification from the first commercial rice crop being sown near the town in 1924 and the establishment of the Rice Growers Cooperative in 1950. One of the largest mills in the Southern Hemisphere is located in Leeton and its associated Sunrise Centre provides an interpretive focus on this very important industry and product. The annual crop is sown, usually by air, in October and is harvested in March. The massive rice harvest is the background for the biennial Leeton Sunrise Festival, culminating at Easter in even-numbered years. The 10-day event celebrates the growth and success of the Australian rice industry and also highlights the agricultural diversity of the Leeton area and the wider Riverina region. The MIA is at the centre of one of Australia's largest citrus growing areas and proudly flies the banner of Riverina Citrus, the statutory authority representing and working for all citrus growers based in the Riverina. There are over 600 registered producers, 50 packers and 8 processors handling over 200,000 tonnes of fruit harvested from the Riverina's 8,500 hectares of citrus trees each year. Premium product is picked, polished and packed for shipment overseas. 10% of the crop is exported or freighted to the domestic markets in Sydney and Brisbane. Many of the larger packing complexes use sophisticated equipment to ensure high quality and efficient standards are maintained. Berry Limited's fruit juice processing plant at Leeton is the country's largest and an Australian and international showcase. The 2002 expansion has doubled capacity and includes extraction rooms for both citrus and apples. State-of-the-art equipment allows simultaneous processing of the two separate juices on the separate processing lines. Large quantities, mainly Valencias, are processed into quality fruit juice, drinks and cordials to be enjoyed throughout Australia and overseas. Berry's entry into the fruit juice market has led to market share leadership for Australian Fresh and excellent results for its range of daily juice company products. The Riverina wine region is a nationally recognised Australian wine region. The Riverina has continued its growth to become the largest wine grapes producing region in New South Wales. The region now proudly produces around 65% of New South Wales total production. Visitors driving through the region can see many of the vineyards that produce for the local wineries. Almost 100% of the local production is purchased and processed in the region by local winemakers. 
Lillipilli Estate and Turak Wines are excellent wineries located on opposite sides of Leeton, and in each case, their products have been well recognised at regional and national wine shows. Rockdale Beef, with its huge beef cattle feedlot and abattoir, and Riverina Australia, one of the largest national exporters of hay and stock feed, visibly reflect the growing confidence and economic strength of Leeton and the region. Climate Technologies and the associated Malmet Australia are local family-owned companies that now have factories in Leeton and Adelaide. The companies have won impressive national and international market share through brands that include Celair and Bonaire air conditioners, Vulcan heaters and Pyrox ducted heating products as well as Malmet hospital equipment. And now, let's look at Leeton. Leeton was the first of the irrigation towns in the MIA and was designed by the American architect Walter Burley Griffin. It was named after Charles Alfred Lee, the then New South Wales Minister for Public Works, and the first town allotments were made available on the 2nd of April 1913. Growth was accelerated in 1922 when the railway line was extended northward from Yanko and then in 1928 with the creation of what is now known as Leeton Shire Council. When coupled with the villages of Yanko and Witten, the population of the Leeton Shire is 12,000. The town has been well recognised in tidy and best tourist town competitions and its tree-lined streets, ample parks and residential areas that complement the Walter Burley Griffin design and an outstanding Art Deco streetscape that is quietly gaining national interest. Leeton has a wide range of accommodation in type, standard and price, well-appointed motels, motor inns, an outstanding guest house and a luxury B&B property as well as the two well-rated caravan parks have individual appeal and character. The combination of food processing environment and the cosmopolitan background of the local population ensure that there is variety and excellence in the eating places of the area. The six licensed clubs and six hotels in the Leeton area are identified in their naming, well appointed and welcome visitors. The presence of major administrative, processing, construction and supporting agribusiness and service providers has created above average employment opportunities and as well as maintaining a steady population growth pattern has stimulated the shopping heart of town. This solid economic profile is also clearly demonstrated in new home and unit developments and consistently strong pricing in the housing market. Leeton is also recognised as a centre for excellence in education. Facilities located in the area include three high schools, two with boarding facilities, an excellent TAFE college and at the Yanko Agricultural Institute is the Murrumbidgee Rural Study Centre. The healthcare, social, spiritual and shopping needs are well catered for in this vibrant yet caring community. Sporting and recreational amenities are first class and whether it's skateboarding at the Leeton Skate Park, bird watching at Five Bow Wetlands or water skiing on the Murrumbidgee, all are close at hand. Put simply, Leeton is a good living town. Want to know more? The Leeton Visitors Centre is housed in a beautifully restored building and specialises in providing information and assisting individuals and groups visiting the Leeton area. For economic development information, please contact the Leeton Shire Council.